Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a little chit chat get ready with me of using my kind of daily summer products. Just some things that I've been reaching towards lately. A lot of these are like my all time favorites. Some of them are brand new. Just kind of a little makeup tutorial situation. I sit down, I do my makeup, I talk with you guys a little bit. And that's basically what this video is, and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a really simple look. Anyone can do this. It is not hard at all. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video so much. Thank you so much for watching. First things first, I'm going to pull my hair back. So I don't have that in the way. So the first step in doing your makeup, obviously, is to prime and prep your skin. Today I'm going to be using a new product that I picked up at Marshalls recently, and this is the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. Um, it reduces redness, pore minimizes, and it oil absorbs. So, really excited to test this out. See how it works. Alright. Smells pretty bad. Smells like garbage, actually. Wow, this really smells like garbage. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Hopefully the scent doesn't have anything to do with how it actually works. Okay, so now that the skin is prepped and primed, time to go in with some foundation. The found My favorite foundation right now, which has been my favorite foundation for a while now, is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I really need to pick up another one of these, but this is one of my all-time favorite foundations ever. It works so, so, so well. It makes my skin look so good. Very light coverage. Um, you only really need, like, this much is how much I use. It's, like, seriously the smallest amount. And then I just dab it all around my face. Okay, so now that it's spread out all over my face, I'm going to take a beauty blender and just blend it all out. Maybe I should make this a chit chat get ready with me and talk to you guys because I love watching those, the chit chat get ready with me's. I just watched Kylie's vlog that she posted and I thought it was so cute to see Stormy and just like her business, like her cosmetology office and like her Kylie skin. Camera stopped recording. I'm not sure if it's like low on memory because I haven't cleared my memory card in like probably two years. Okay, cleared a little bit of the memory on my camera, hopefully enough to film this video. So, my foundation looks all blended out. That's all done. Next, we're going to go in with the uh, May Maybelline New York. I have worn this label down so much because I use it so much, but you guys know this concealer. It's like the whatever. Maybelline concealer that like everyone and their mother uses. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go in with that. I'm also just gonna put a little bit up here because I'm breaking out of my forehead a little bit. And maybe some over here just because I get a little bit of dark spots in this area. And I seem to have a big clump on my nose as well today. So. That's always fun and exciting. But yeah, as I was saying, the um, the Kylie vlog was very fun to watch. And it just gets me really excited about going to cosmetology school because that's what I'm thinking about doing in the fall is attending Paul Mitchell. And I think I might move to Miami or somewhere in Florida, like Fort Myers, to maybe go to the school down there because... New England is cold, man. It has just been so rainy and gross and, like, not summer weather at all here. And it's making me really sad because it's summertime and Massachusetts just doesn't know that yet, that it's summertime. So it's a little frustrating. <laughs> uh, 
They say if you don't like the weather in New England, wait five minutes, and I keep waiting, but nothing's happening. So now that everything's blended in, I'm just going to set that down. I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just go all over my face and set the foundation and the concealer in place. This is another product that I've been using for a very, very long time. And I just really feel like it works. Be ready to start with the fun shit. So I'm going to start by bronzing up my face. And I'm going to be using the Pretty Vulgar Bronze Beam 113 Bronze man Mannequin? Mannequin? Bronze Mannequin. Duh. I'm stupid. Um, let's use this brush. So I'm going to be taking like one of these brushes by Arborn, actually. It's a powder brush, but whatever. I'm going to take this all over my face as well as my cheekbone area just to warm up the whole entire face. Because it's summertime and we need to be getting that nice bronze glowy look on. It's really hard to talk and blend at the same time, I'm realizing. Um, today is Tuesday, June 4th, and I have the day off today, as well as tomorrow. I have today and tomorrow off. Tomorrow my boyfriend actually turns 22, so I have to figure out what we're going to do tomorrow night for his birthday. Hoping we can go out to dinner somewhere and celebrate him making it another gear around the sun. Alright, so now that I'm all bronzed up, I'm going to take a more precise contouring brush. This one by, um, I have no idea where it's from, but anyways, I'm going to be taking this Becca powder in the shade Tan and just kind of making a more precise contour. I go in such a random order for my um, skincare too. I mean skincare. What am I doing? My makeup. I go in like just whatever I feel like doing. There's no particular order really. Um, so next, as you can see, I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. I really need to have these done, but I want to let them grow out a little bit more before I get them done for Florida because I'm going in a couple weeks to go to Florida for my grandparents wedding anniversary and we're also just going to be looking at some different schools for me to go to and having a little vacation I'm really looking forward to it because it will be really warm there in Florida and it has not been really warm here and I feel like I deserve a little bit of warm weather so I'm just really excited to go and visit and do that. By the way I use the Cover FX, it, I mean the It Cosmetics <laughs> brow power in the shade Universal Taupe. I got this in a BoxyCharm and repurchased because it is so good. One of my favorite brow pencils, or it is my favorite brow pencil. Um, it's really easy to use. It is a universal color. I can use it on my friends or like in the summer and in the winter. It's kind of like a universal eyebrow color. I appreciate because my hair is lighter than my eyebrows so this is kind of a great in-between product for me um, yes my eyebrows are literally crazy like the hairs are going crazy I need them done so so bad okay I would normally prep my eyes down with like some primer and some powder but honestly looking pretty good when I went over it with some concealer and powder and I'm not really doing very much today so I'm not too worried about my eye makeup getting smudged. Anyways, I'm going to be using the Becca tan powder that I used on my face earlier as a con- um, 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 um. 
as a crease shade. And I love using the same bronzer or contour shade as I use on my face that I do on my eyes because I feel like it just makes your whole face kind of blend and you don't really have to um, think too much about eyeshadow colors either because you can just use the same contour as a eyeshadow contour as well. So, I'm just, as you can see, picking up the product, being kind of messy with it. Just blending that all over my crease. Also, it just gives you a more natural look with your eyes. Um, because it is the same shade that's all over your face, it doesn't even really look like you're wearing, like, intense eye makeup or anything like that. So, I just really like this. So I do want to add a little bit of sparkle just to the center of my eye. My favorite sparkly shades are in this little blink palette that I got in BoxyCharm. And as you can see, it has like the most stunning shimmery shades. I think I'm going to go in... Hmm, should I use this, this shade right here and this one right here? I can't decide. I'm going to do this one. This little like pink cute little pink shade. Blend that all over my lid. Next I'm going to be doing some blush. I'm going to be using my favorite blush right now. It's the Laura Geller New York Baked Blush and Brighten in the shade Tropic Hues. I also got this in a boxy charm and I love it. It's just like this really pretty baked blush with the entire face. I love, love, love blush, so never have enough of it. And for highlighter, my favorite highlight I have so many favorite highlighters, but um, I've been liking this Ofra Rodeo Drive. Got this in a boxy charm as well. I'm just going to take this little Luxie brush and go like that. gonna top off the Ofra highlighter with little Fenty Beauty in the Kilowatt and a little bit on the tip of my nose my finger just put it in there a little bit ooh so glowy so glowy the next part's really really simple I'm just gonna put on some mascara I'm gonna be using the superhero Mascara by It Cosmetics. Got this in a boxy charm. Mascara is done. Face is basically done. You guys can see it. that is the face look I tend to complete when I am finished. It's very light on my face. I don't really feel like I'm wearing too much makeup because the only thing I really packed on was the bronzer and yeah, that's kind of a necessary step in the summertime. Gotta be looking all warm. Next we're gonna go in with some lip product. I'm just gonna take this Blistex um, Lip Vibrance, just tempted, uh, tinted lip gloss, I mean lip chapstick. My favorite go-to lipstick has been this MAC A36 Brave shade. It's just like your basic baby pink everyday look. This really is like an everyday shade because almost every look I create, I've got to see it not go with the look I create. But it's just this really soft baby pink that I love. 
Very El Natural. Doesn't really look like too intense of a shade. And that is it. That's it. We done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, this little chit chat get ready with me of my everyday makeup look. Just wanted to sit down and film a quick video for you guys. I had the day off today, I was getting ready and I thought why not film it so I can put up some more content for you guys because that's what I want to do and yeah, this is the created final look. Thank you guys so much, so, so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.